welcome to our first ever Let's Learn Smite. I'm Titan Cupcake, joined by Pompon. Yep. And today we are going to be learning, or I'm going to be learning Heimdall. So any little fun facts you want to give me before we get started about kind of what went into making Heimdall and your inspiration? Yeah, the Heimdall is just a really interesting character to make because he, he had like the idea behind him of this much harder hitting hunter than we've ever done before. And when it comes to MOBA balance, having a character that breaks rules often has special considerations you have to make. So like how his basic attacks, how they have a slower attack chain but hit harder, how do you balance that with potentially his other abilities that he has? Does that encourage styles like him being more warrior-like or more hunter-like? So we, we had a lot of inspiration to let him be a bit more of a brawler when it came to, to how his kit kind of functioned. And over the course of balancing him internally, we had different experimentations with different stuff into the live state everyone saw. He had yeah. some nerfs. He's a little strong. <laughs> uh, a little strong. But that's just kind of the things that happen with, with a character that breaks like your conventional rules. So we're going to try and learn today, show some of the combos that might not be obvious to people at, at first glance. Cool. Should be pretty fun. Well, I'm excited. I'm used to playing hunters, but he's very different than what I'm used to. Um, I'm not used to being thrown away like that. So here we go. Oh. Yeah, so I figured the first thing we do is hop into uh, jungle practice and kind of just go over the kit, right? Because that's the first thing you need to know whenever you play a new character is read the descriptions. This might mm -hmm. sound strange, but there are definitely times where people go, how's this ability work? And someone will go, it says in the description how it works. And they go, oh, cool, I didn't read the description. I'm going to be honest, I usually don't read the description. I just try to use them. They're there for a reason. <laughs> I know, but... Yeah, so we'll go over his kit, just kind of for anyone who also isn't familiar with Heimdall. Oop. See if we can connect. But yeah, we'll go over the kit so everyone kind of has a full understanding of what the full kit is. My axe was beginning Pop to into out. and get to level 20. Alright, so Juice basic cooldown. attacks are pretty slow. Yep, so the biggest thing to know about him is his basic attacks are much slower than normal. So they actually... So the way normal hunters work is they just have like for one attack speed, you shoot one attack per second. For his one attack speed, he shoots uh, essentially 30% less shots. So his attacks are just significantly slower, but to trade off, they hit harder than any other hunter does. So the whole goal here would just be kind of like trying to maximize the amount of hits you get on a target. And the other important thing to note is that they cleave on the first few hits. So if you actually go over to these Odins over here and swing, you will see that it does AoE damage. That's really good for hitting multiple targets, clearing a wave. Oh! And then the final one is the one that does a lot of damage. So yes, you might want to okay. focus the first two attacks on like clearing a wave, while then your third attack is to poke the enemy, enemy god. Are the first two the same? Yeah, the first two are the same. Okay. I didn't buy any items, and that's why I'm like, so, look how slow I am. So what do you recommend that I start with? So I would say the recommended starter is get a Hunter's Blessing. It'll give you some mana, give you some attack damage. Um, then I would rush Boots, get that online. Uh, probably Ninja Tabby, because even though attack speed works on him in a different way than other hunters, it's still beneficial. Okay. Um, and really? then I, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty solid. It's just a really good item, and it helps you just kind of confirm these hits and get a few more out. And um, then after that, I would rush things like Transcendence, Crusher, uh, maybe Crusher. like a Brawler's Beat Stick if they have an enemy healer. Because he can actually, he's one of the characters as a hunter, like you don't have to go the traditional attack speed on hit or uh -huh. traditional crit builds, you can actually kind of focus on your ability damage and do pretty well. So okay. more like ability stuff. And then final items are always flex. You can go more attack speed and lifesteal. You can go more power. You can be really greedy and go like a blood forge for a lot of power. If they have a lot of armor, you can go a Titan's Bane. Those kind of things are pretty solid. So um, I was talking to you about this earlier, but I usually get Odysseus bow on me. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me that wouldn't be as great for this. Yeah, so, so unlike, so like attack speed is really good just for your basic attack damage coming out, but then something like Odie Bow requires that you actually land multiple hits to actually trigger the effect. And so even though you have the attack speed to, to help you get them out faster, there by the time another hunter might get like two or three off, you only got like one and a half Odie Bow procs off. So yeah. I tend to focus more on just the damage, the, the raw damage potential versus trying to get a whole bunch of splash damage through Odie Bow. It's not bad, but I think Heimdall, his kind of kit and his scaling leverages power a bit better. So going on to abilities, first is his passive. So for every pr target revealed up to five, you get bonus power. So 
that new handy ward that you have in your inventory for season mm -hmm. seven. Oh. Make sure that's out. Reveals people. Gives you a bit of power. If anyone leaves your vision range for any reason, you get to continue seeing them for a little I bit longer. So you can use that to kind of line up shots or keep track allies. of people. Um, and that's just generally what you want to try and do with the passive is keep vision on as many targets as you can. Um, you can use your first ability to help with that, which is when you cast it, you throw a sword into the air. And then you can kind of just leave it there as a kind of like a temporary ward. Or you can cast it oh. again and cause it to crash land at a location dealing damage. How long until... Will it go away if I don't use it? Like... Yeah, so... Oh, okay. It just happened. Yeah, it times out after, I think, eight seconds. So you have quite a bit of time to, like, leave it up there. But eventually it will time out and just kind of fade. And the handy thing about it being delayed like that is you can use it for vision. And then when you need to, you can actually call it down wherever. So, for example... Here's, here's your first advanced attack tactic uh, with Heimdall. Oh, I see what you, I know what you're going to do. Yeah. You can... I'm going to do it too. Yep. <laughs> so what you can do is you can throw it up at one location, use your three to teleport across the map, and yes. then call it down on opponents across the map. And there it goes. So I could put my one far away, yep. but then teleport, and it'll go all the way to... Wherever you throw it. And there it is. Oh, yay! Okay, so but the, it did have a little bit of travel time, I feel like. Yep. And that's, that's actually nice. an achievement. That's one of his achievements, is to actually do a very, very long range hit with your one. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. Okay, so my three. I used it once. How do I get to use it again? So the way this ability works is it's his movement ability. So when they're really the close together, opens. they have a very low cooldown and a very short amount of time you need to stand in them to teleport to the other one. Okay. So, like, this distance, you'll see that once they actually open up, if I take it, it's going to be almost instantaneous that I travel to the other one. And they're also come off cooldown very quickly. Um, okay. But if they're further away, you have to stand in them for longer, and the cooldown will be longer as well. So if you want to use it to go, like, let's say you get pushed out of oh. lane, you can actually use it to get back to lane really quickly, but you're not going to have a movement ability for, for that long. So you want to kind of manage this carefully. A lot of people, what they tend to do is keep the short cooldown in lane, so they'll put, like, somewhere in safety. If they're ever in trouble, they can just drop oh. it and then immediately back up. And there's not, like, a combat penalty? Like, nope. if I'm being hit, I can still teleport just fine? Yep. Uh, so CC will stop you, uh, like cripples, okay. for example. Right. Um, but that way, since it's not on a low cooldown, you can do things like stay in lane for a little bit with that safety and then back. And then by the time you're ready to actually come back to lane, you can just drop one at your base and teleport back to lane. So you can see here I backed, that is drop it, sneaky. Go. So that's kind of how you When did these go easy. away? Uh, they don't have a lifetime. They just go away. Basically, it's always the oldest. If I don't oldest. use it? Yeah, so if you see, I place these two here. Uh, the left one is my oldest one. You can see by the symbol. And you can see by when you actually cast it, there'll be a symbol and coloration to signify which one you're about to replace. So I'm going to replace mm -hmm. that one when I place a new one. OK. But oh, OK, 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 OK. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, but you can't cancel it and, like, go halfway down the lane or nope. something. OK. <laughs> we talked about that, actually, internally, and we figured that would be too good. Because that way you could just have like cross uh, cross the whole map and then and you then can just, just like suddenly gank the lane. Stop <laughs> at your place. Yep. So onto the two. So okay. The two is a relatively straightforward ability. You have a cone where you're blowing the Galar horn. Okay. Enemies hit by that cone attack are slowed um, and take decent damage. Then if you you see there's a circle targeter that's also on there. If you mm -hmm. cancel the ability or you let it finish fully, uh, enemies that are still in that range will get knocked back by a sound blast. Um, and this has a few applications outside of, one, survivability. If someone's on top of you, you can knock them away from you pretty instantly by using the ability and canceling it out. Okay. Or you can do things like cast your one, use your two, knock them back, and then use your one to confirm that damage. Okay, I'm going to try that. So put my one up, use my two to be like, get away from me, and then use my one to like, get him. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. That's the kind of things that you need to think of when you're using the two is, are you going to try and channel the full damage on it or are you just using it for the knockback? And both cases work. And you can also do things like auto attack someone to cancel auto attack. So you can get like two free auto attacks on someone that can't really respond. I'm sorry, you said attack so and then- So auto attack to cancel auto. Auto attack to cancel auto. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. And then, and you said two is not a silence. Two is not a silence, it's just slow. Okay. It'd be nice if it was a silence. Yeah, that'd be pretty strong. <laughs> that'd be really good. <laughs> okay. So when I first played against him, I thought that was the case. Mm -hmm. yep, no, um, just the knockback. So the final ability is the uh, the the basically the send people flying. The E. 
So yeah, you ult target, you can send them flying in any direction, and then you'll see where they're going to land. There'll be a target on the ground. Oh, but it's not like the same place. No, so it's, it's randomly selected. So you have to actually pay attention and figure out where they're going to land. But what you can do is, while they're in the air, so once I get my ultimate cooldown back, you can do things like, uh, let's see, one second. So you ult someone, send them flying, use your one, so now it's ready to go. You call it down so it lands with them, you knock them up and you base attack them. Oh my so god. So they land, <laughs> they land, they just took the ult damage, they take the one damage, they take the knockback damage, and they take the in-hand damage. And if you're really confident, you can actually get two in-hands. You can in-hand into the knockback cancel we taught earlier, into another in-hand, and then probably a third in-hand because, like, they're still going to be falling for the <laughs> knock-up. Okay, so do you think I'll be able to do that day one? Uh, I mean, it'll take a little bit of practice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But that's the kind of thing that you want to look for. And like at base, like I think the, the ulting someone into the one so that the one lands with them so that they take the landing damage and the, the one damage as it falls, that's something that's relatively straightforward to do. Also landing a basic attack. If you're not confident, you can also just do something like ult them, use the one, and then call it down so they're going to land and just basic attack. Okay. Right? And that's pretty good damage, right? Like that's, that's nothing to laugh at. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try ult. Oh, got my one out. I'm gonna try to oh wrong one. Oh. Uh, do, oh wait, I missed I missed him. Uh it's okay. okay. You have the reduced cooldown? No, I didn't do it. I'll I'll go get get that real quick. Um, if you're just now tuning in, Pon Pon is teaching me how to play Heimdall. Yep, so we're going over the kit, we're going over the kind of the straightforward mm -hmm. combos. Uh, this is something that's just generally good, especially when like a new character comes out and you're trying to get familiar with them. It just actually run through their abilities and kind of see what they do and mess around and play with them and see if there's clever things you can do. Um, because if, you, if you're trying to learn that in the middle of a match, why enemies are throwing abilities at you and crowd controlling you, it's going to be really hard to actually really grasp what's happening. Whereas in this scenario, you can kind of figure out what everything does before you go into a live match with other people. So again, yeah, ult someone, drop the one. And then uh, three, or two. Two, cancel. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. This guy, I feel bad for this Odin. Oh no, I missed! <laughs> I, uh, it's okay. It's not okay. That happens sometimes. I forgot that he was gonna run. So I'm gonna be on the same line he's at. I've got six seconds. All right, yeet. One, and then one. Oh, oh, oh man! Uh, and then that's I okay. put out my three instead of my two. Okay, 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 okay. So that's the kind of thing that, like, that's what's really good to come into jungle practice for is you'll start learning the timings of things. They're not, those are things that you have to kind of feel out and learn as you go. All right, I'm ready again. Put my one out. Ooh. Nope, I didn't do it. And I kept putting out my three instead of my two. Yep, that's just getting familiar with controls. I'm sorry, Tom. It's okay. So the other kind of tactic that is more advanced that mm -hmm. a lot of people are using at the top end is doing things like uh, three canceling. So you can do like basic attack three basic attack. And that lets you get basic attacks off a little bit more quickly. And it also lets you stay in using your cleave attack. Uh, that's more like useful for like the laning phase if you have the extra mana and you're not too concerned about like what your opponents are going to really be able to like do to you because by getting your three early like it's relatively easy to punish but it's a tactic that's available um i tend to think it's probably not worth the min max effort of it but in some cases that might be the difference between winning a laning phase or not so, so basic three basic yeah okay and that's just a general thing for most gods is they have like the if they have like a low free fire time on their basic attack and they have a really quick ability you can do base attack into using that ability basic attacking again very fast faster than you would normally be able to otherwise loki okay. is kind of a prime example of that where like you can do like a basic attack into an aim strike basic attack basically at the same time because they're so quick wow okay yep so do you think you're ready for a match let's do it you want to try the, the old combo one more time yeah while you were talking, I did it. Oh, you did? I didn't notice. Well, I think I did. Maybe maybe it was close. All right. All of these... You know what? I'm going for an Odin over here. Actually, no. I'm not going for an Odin over there because I want a walking one. Make it harder. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Portal placement's also important. Okay. Yeet. One. Get my two ready. One. 
Boom. That's basically the combo. Yay! And if, and if you want to make sure your opponent couldn't react, you can do the knockback a little bit earlier, too. Okay. We had a little bit of time to leap away. I, yeah. Okay, cool. So there you go. I think oh, right. I keep thinking that it's going to... Um, what's it called? Why oh, say we queue up? See how, see how you can take that knowledge into practice in-game. All right. Let's do the thing. Let's do an arena first? Yes, let's go for arena. And then we'll move on from there. Okay, sounds good. You're in queue. Yep. Yes. Awesome. So yeah, Heimdall definitely has some mechanics to him that are yes. that are you have to kind of learn. The probably the, the the biggest one that's not really easy to explain and like is just kind of a practice thing is the three. Because that one, again, you can use it to cross the map instantaneously, or you can use it to get to lane or do short hops to avoid incoming damage. Like, mm -hmm. let's say a Thor is about to dunk on you, and you know that he's about to come crashing down. You can place a three on top of you and quickly teleport back, like, 20 feet. And you're, he's probably oh, going yeah. to miss, right? Oh, that's that's smart. I like the idea of having, like, one in lane and then one in, like, a little safe space. Yeah. And so, like, that's the kind of thing is that you have to plan, right? Because that, what if that safe area doesn't become safe anymore? You have to, like, kind of predict where fights are going, predict what you're going to need. And that's more of like a, not a mechanical skill, it's a, like a game knowledge skill. For sure. Who should I play? Ooh. Should I play a support? Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to keep me alive. So if you want to go Kepri. Kepri works. <laughs> I like Kepri on my team. Let's see. Yeah, there's Ganesh, Kepri, Geb, Yamoja. You could also just go Ares, and I can be the damage dealer. <laughs> Ooh, no. It's my turn to shine. I'm just kidding. I won't shine. But do the Kepri. Kepri's fun. Um, oh, sorry. Somebody said, Pawn Reminder, the third ability creates a line between two instants you oh, may yeah. have to cast. Um, break the Fog of War in the mini-map. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so another feature about the three is that there's basically that tether that connects the two. One, that's, that's there to indicate where you're going to go, right? Like, that's mm -hmm. just kind of a visual indication of, like, if you, if you can't quite remember where you put the last portal, it helps you remember that. Um, the other you thing is, uh, let's arrived. see, that tether acts as essentially a ward. If enemies walk over that, they're revealed to Heimdall for a brief Oh. Second. So you can use it as a tripwire. Uh, that's cool. Where in Arena, not that useful. In Conquest, very useful. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, so we're all ready to queue, right? <laughs> Please don't come after me. Go. We are in the match. I have to play Lobster Kepri, right? That's the only... That's the best... That was my favorite skin of the game for the longest. That's the only correct Chef one. Chef Special? Is that what it's called? Uh, I think so. Yeah, Chef Special. Look at you throwing out the boosters. Just trying to be friendly. Okay. All right. So yeah, again, build recommendations. Uh, you can go Hunter's Blessing or you can go Attacker's Blessing since it's Arena. Um, both work pretty well. I'd rush personally attack speed boots just because I think that's a bit more manageable to like start learning the basic attack feel. The ninja ones? Yeah, ninja tabby. Um, and then from there, I would just rush power. I'd rush things like Transcendence. I'd rush things like Crusher. Uh, maybe your Brawler's I... Beat Stick because they do have some healing on their team. Thanatos and Chiron have some healing. Um, okay. So Brawler's could be pretty solid. I don't know what Brawler's Beat is so that's in the mace tree so oh. it's a 40 power 15 pen item which is already really good stats and it's passive is when you hit someone they uh have their healing reduced by a percentage okay cool so the healing's as effective as long as you hit them as long as you hit them <laughs> which the horn is pretty easy to hit at least apply brawler's wheat stick on oh thanks by the way pressing the button yeah i got it <laughs> i'm on top of it <laughs> We have a Thanatos with more stars than I have by a lot, so that's scary. I've seen how this and um, I can't protect you from executes three, with Kepri, so good luck. Really? Yeah, yeah, executes bypass Kepri's ult. Okay. Kepri cannot revive what is executed. Um, and then I'll get Aegis for that and for Scylla ult. Yeah, it's probably a safe bet. Someone said, um, hit them with an ability, debuff the healing. Yep, that's Brawler's Beat Stick. Cool. The magical equivalent's Divine Ruin. 
All right. Here we go. Do I get um, the attack speed buff? Uh, you can get red or attack speed. Okay. Vulcan might want the red. Okay. And then, yeah, you can take this attack speed probably. Okay. I'm so nervous right now. I keep, I'm like going through all the abilities in my head. Like, don't mess this up. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put a little teleport out here. That's oh, why no. I say oh, no. that. Oop, you're playing forward. Ah! Now I need to run. <gasps> oh, oh man, oh. Ran. run, 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 run. No, 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 no. You're in danger. I'm not in danger. Oh. Dance party? <laughs> a uh, unfortunate. Danger. <laughs> so why he is a little warrior-esque, being in the front line, especially this early might be a little bit rough. I just realized I didn't buy any potions at the beginning, so I was used to us playing jungle practice. So my <laughs> bad, but I'm ready now. You're fine. What's You're up, Izanami? Good. Oh, and Jithans. Thanks, y'all. How y'all doing? That should be a dead Thanatos. Nice. Bought. I should probably get him. Aww. So who's going to be your first yeet target? No, I freaking missed my yeet. <laughs> it's Can hard. So another another tactic that also helped that is if right you cancel your knockback while they're in the air, they can't oh, juke. Oh, right. right. You can hit them. That's basically guaranteed people. You just have to get really close, which is risky. Right. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to get close to anybody. That's why I play a hunter. And that's what makes Phantos very different. Oh, oh. I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, but you, you're so kind. Oh no, I'm gonna die again. Ah! Oh, oh yay! Okay, yep, I gotta you. run. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. <sighs> that's why I picked Kepri. Oh wait, I messed up. Um, okay. And then boom, and then we're going, okay. Whew. If you're just now tuning in, this is my first ever game with Heimdall. Yikes. And you're oh, doing wait. great. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, I don't have my ult yet because I ruined it. Go, you have it soon. That's why you can also get things like Transcendence, Yay! which will give a bit of CDR, which will help you get them more often. Okay. An enemy has been slain. I'll go Transcendence after this. Great knockup. That Yay! was really good. You did it. There's some majestic music playing. Wait. That's also, that's like a good like game knowledge thing that you did there, which is I have my CC, right as my CC ended, you CC, so that's yes, the chain continued. chain that. Yeah, chaining CCs is very important. Nicely done. Oh no, There's, why am I the only one out here? I'm running. It's fine. <laughs> We're good. It's not fun. <laughs> as long as you do it in danger in 15 seconds, we'll be fine. Wait, how long do my three stay out again? Uh, your three stay out as long as you don't cast another one. Forever? They're basically there forever. Okay, good. So I'll put one guy in my base. There we go. Safety. And then I'll put another one in the middle so I can get away. I'm going to place a ward in the middle of the map so you have extra power. Okay, all right. Animation, how are you? Good to see you. Okay. Oh, you're trying to make the play? I have ult. Yeet! You got it. Oh, but then I... I... He is dead anyway. Ah! Oh, Me no, too. I was stunned. <laughs> I couldn't save you. But I'm excited. I've got two kills. Yeah, you're doing solid. Okay, and now I'm going to Transcendence, but I need to spell it. Okay, cool. Let's go, baby. What up, Nova Prime? How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm learning Heimdall. Oh, I've no. got two kills. Oh, no. I should have been in a position to save him. That's my bad. I should have helped, but I was looking at the minions. Okay, quickly back here. Let's see. I should build tank. So let's just build the auras. Let's go. What does that mean? 
So I'm building Sovereignty and Heart Ward, which are two aura items that give my team protections and regen. Oh, good. Just generally good to have. It'll help everyone kind of stay alive. <gasps> I got it! Oh my gosh! I wish you could have seen that. That was exciting. I used my one behind a wall to get a, a camp that the enemies were trying to steal from us. Very nice. You Man, pick I up should the red? be a pro. Uh, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> but I will. Yay, that was fun. Yeah, that'll help you do I a like lot of damage. Stealing that. Oh, wait. Get away from me. Get. Oh, don't make me eat you, sir. I hate being polite about potentially eating someone. Sir. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was going to go. Okay. Yeah, so I can probably be a bit more forward here. That guy is literally a bot. Oh, no. Run, run, run. It's oh, no, 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 no. I think you'll be okay. I won't be okay. I think you're oh, okay. Yep, you're out of there. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, okay, so now I'm going Crusher. Boop, 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 boop. This yeah, is Crusher fun. will be su super solid. So you know what Crusher does, right? Uh, it makes me more powerful. Yeah, so it gives you Pen, which is really good, and it also means all your abilities that you hit will deal bonus damage. Oh, I didn't know that it did that with your abilities. Yep. That's nice. The things you learn. There are many items in Smite that do very interesting things. Like, Chalk has Pride Win, which is very, very interesting. Especially as, like, a third item. I'm having to, uh... Nice. Yes! Dude. Okay. This is going better than I expected. Yeah, hey. see? This, this is solid. But why am I getting this? I guess I have an announcer pack that plays, like, really exciting music when I get a kill. Because it's hyping me up. Oops, I'm taunted. Should be safe, though. Dude? <laughs> I'm Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean Zeus. to laugh. Nice. Dude, don't mess with me. Nice. Oh my God. You're getting kills. Triple kill. <laughs> Wait, why did he steal my kill? Why did he steal my kill? I thought we were friends. Let's go, baby. Nicely done. Um, talking about stealing kills here. I'm just kidding. You're doing great. I appreciate your help. Oop, oop. Too late. I'm running because I'm very, very low. Go away, Theatos. So first game, you got a triple kill. That's pretty solid. Yes. Someone told me I should be in the SPL, and I don't disagree. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might have. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay. <laughs> Too confident. Okay, what do I do after Crusher? Uh, let's see. So you could go the Brawlers for just the more pen. That's not a bad oh, choice. right. Brawlers. That's such a weird name. Did Tina name that? No, that's like an old school <laughs> item. That's right. How's everybody doing? Jeffrey, I'm fragging. Oh my gosh, Auburn, yes. We are going we are going to destroy uh ah, duo lane. Ah. Oh wait, I'm gonna come help you. Oh nice. But I didn't get to eat him. Yeah, he died too fast. My happy music is playing, but I'm not happy because I wanted to yeet. Okay, now I want to start doing some of those killer plays you were telling me about with the auto three auto. Yep. Okay. So you can you can kind of practice that when you're like just clearing the wave. Yeah, that's okay. probably a good place to practice it. Auto three auto. I'm gonna get your Shogun's uh, Kasari and actually remember to upgrade my relic so I'm not bad. Which. I think everyone needs to actually upgrade the relic. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Be safe. You're safe. Okay. But I need to put my three, like, 
back in base again because I liked I, I liked that. That was a good thing to do. Wait, why is it not working? I may want there we to go. Here. This skin is so good. Oh yeah, I do need to get a different relic. I know you just said that, but somebody in the chat said it too, and it's making me think. Mm. Oop, oop. Um, I don't know if I can save you. It's okay. Wow, I saved myself. I don't even know. I just walked out of it. I just I just left. Oop, Merc went in. Let's go, baby. Puggers. Woo! Oop. Puggers. Oh, oh, I couldn't, couldn't do anything you. about that. Yeah, so that was a case of I ulted, I ulted you, but it's an execute, so For no work. reason. Not today, Thanatos. Oh, don't forget Relic. Oh my gosh, Jithin, thank you. Um, oh wait, how do I sell it though? Do I just... Oh no, you just click it and then oh, okay, upgrade okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Whew. I got you Shogun's Kasari, so now you have a bit more tax speed when you're standing next to me. Oh my gosh, uh, wait. Oh wait, no, no. Too late. That's dubs, baby. Yes, thank you guys for reminding me about the relic. They were they were spamming. Relic, Oop. relic, relic, relic. Yep. <sighs> so thank you guys for the spam because now I can remember. Yeah, that'll help you live from things like uh from like Phantos Execute. Um, okay. We gotta defeat this. Yeah, defeat Big defeat. Minotaur boy. It's fine. I'm Heimdall. I could do this by myself all day. Oop. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm sorry, Merc. I had to. I had to do it. Oh, I was trying to get Thanatos before. Ah, I tried to juke. Nice knockback. Yeah, so you're doing the thing. Juke, juke, juke. Nice. <laughs> Back to safety. <laughs> I love that. All right. And then what's my last item going to be? Uh, so you could go like Brawl, or you could go probably like a uh, Blood Forge, or you could go an Aussie if they have a lot of protections, which doesn't seem like they do. You could go Titan's Bane, but I don't think it's necessary. I did Blood. Yeah, Blood Forge is Oh, no, 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 no. No, Minions. Stop it. Minions. Minions. All right. Okay, so let's tr let's try and wombo combo the Zeus. Okay. Are you ready? I'm gonna CC Wait, the Zeus. What am okay? I wombo comboing with? I don't have uh, my yeet. Yeah, but you have your your two knockback, right? Yeah, but Athena's after me. Oh, I I was too late. Nice. No, you got it. You got the kill. Let's go, baby. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and get him, and get him. Yeah. Nice. There's the double kill. Keep so going. Good. Keep I'm running, but I'm slow. So oh. if, you, if you want to be aggressive right now, I do have ult, so you can kind of just fight. Um. Dude, that guy is Yay! Fun. See? How fun. Got that sick ult. Amazing. And Boom. there's another kill. Yes. I love this. This it, is great. You're getting really good at the knockback and in hand. That's like uh, the kind of like core thing you need to have down. Oh no, Thana's coming in. Oh, but Thana's over there. Poor Merc. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Nice. I just forget to use it all the time. Um, Try casting your three at the left hand right. Wait, at the left and right red buffs just so you can see how it works. Uh, oh yeah, so that way okay. you can see how the tether works. Okay. In Arena, I think a good place to, like, put your portals for, like, general usage is, like, this one that you have right here is pretty solid. And then, like, whenever you're in danger, you can just, like, place one where I'm standing right now and, and immediately get out. Wait. I'm confused by what you just said because my so, thing like, is pretty close to where you're at. Yeah, so see see this thing where I'm standing right now, right? Yeah. And then up here, 
Right? So, like, let's say I'm fighting this oh, Chiron so I right don't here. Get too far right? Like, away. I just engage on that Chiron. I'm in danger. I could stand right here and be out. I didn't have to travel far. Good eat. Now follow up. Follow up. I don't have my one. You have. Nice. There you go. This is a great time. If you're just now tuning in, this is my first game with Heimdall. What up? You're doing good. All right. I do have ult ready. I used my relic. Um... Where's Thana? Ah! Oh. Ow! <laughs> I just hit the mic into my face because I got scared. Okay. Oh no, we're dead for like 30 seconds. But they're not going to be able to win. Yeah, they won't be able to win, but they're going to close the gap a little bit. Although we just need one kill. We'll prob we're probably probably We'll be fine. all right. So is there anything I want to replace? I guess I sell this. We'll get a print win. Oh, wow. Where's... Yeah, I guess. Okay. We'll be all right. Yeah, that's fine. We have ult soon, so let's just go for the ult combo to finish it off. I'm going to try and CC someone for you. Okay. Oh, oh, you went in. <laughs> try and follow up the combo. Aww. Ah, nah. Merc got it. I, I think I didn't do the timing right anyway, so it's kind of nice that it's we good. didn't see it. That was fun. Yay. Well, th the good things you did that game was knocking up into basic attacks. Super solid. Okay. Following up on the ult. A little bit. Eh. But you're learning. Next time. <laughs> but, like, actually landing the ult, you had a lot of really good situations where you just, like, committed to it and, like, landed it versus, like, trying to, like... You, like it, That's really easy to miss, especially when you're doing it longer range. Yes, because people run away or juke. Yeah, so overall, super solid. So Sweet. going into next, do you want to try a joust? Yeah. What game do you want to play? Joust? Let's do Joust. Let's do Joust. I just wanted to take a look real quick at the scoreboard. Yeah. Just because I got 13 kills. What You're up? proud of that? I am. That's good. Let's see how much yeah. damage you did. Let's see. Your player damage. Yeah, you were up there right with the, the Vulcan and the Mercury. It's about where you want to be. <sighs> Yay. Thank you guys for telling me it was a GG. It was very much a GG. All right. That was fun. So who are you going to play in Joust? I don't know. Should should chat pick for me? Oh, yeah. Who should Pawn play in Joust? Let's see. All righty. Especially new Joust with like a lot of really solid picks. Uh, Merlin. Someone said Merlin. That's the first one I saw. Sure. I'll play Merlin. And then I saw Odin, and then Changa, and then Loki, and then Odin, then Toth. So, uh... We'll Merlin go with whoever got, whoever got first. Yeah, Merlin. First has dibs. All righty. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, are you in already? Mm, we're working on it. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Boop. You there we go. Are safe now. You are yes. safe now. I have arrived. We'll do the, the recolor. It's fancy. I'll boost. So yeah, I, I would say the so Joust is a little bit different than Arena, right? Because in this one, you're going to have to focus a little bit more on, like, actually, like, wave management and clearing the wave and, like, right. optimizing your farm a little bit more. And this new map is huge, so it has a lot of rotations, too. Yep. So generally, the way we want to start this map is clear out blue and uh, speed before the minions meet. So right when they spawn, we just kill both of them, and then we meet when the minions meet and fight there. It's generally how you want to do this. This is what I do. <laughs> what do you do? I usually ward blue, get speed, go back to wave, then blue. So if you're fast enough, you should be able to kill speed and blue before if the If you have a good meet. team that's helping yes. you, but if you don't... Then it can be rough. Yeah. We should have the damage. I, if I need to, I can go Fire Stance Merlin, and we'll be fine. You'll do... Oh. Yeah, because Fire Merlin is, like, yeah. really good clear. Okay. I actually, I've never played Merlin either. <laughs> Is that the next learn? Um, I do have a couple coming up, um, but I don't think Merlin's on there yet. I'll, mm. I'll get him on the books. 
Yeah, Merlin, Merlin, like the the core abilities are relatively straightforward. Like they they have simple applications that are kind of easy to understand. But like knowing when to switch and like what stance you need mm -hmm. to be in at a given time. Stance switchers are like a whole another level. Yeah. I feel like. Okay. So, yep, we're gonna try and do the normal start. We'll oh, see. Oh, there's a knee. Yes, we'll see if this hurt can can get it going. So again, on this map, you can do either the assassin, the attackers, or hunter's blessing. Um, I say rush booth is probably a straightforward, safe thing because that'll help you move around the map. Would you do hunters or attacker? Uh, I'd probably do attackers just because I like to get the the pen online quick. But I think either work. I trust you. I'm running in. An enemy has left no. Oh no. No. It's the Neath. <laughs> she got scared. So we can do speed into blue. Oh, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Have do you see what I did? Mm hmm. Fancy. Oh, but I, it's on cooldown now. Yep. Rip. Uh. But I say we just focus on clearing the midway and then we'll do blue. <laughs> Sorry, Vaughn. That's good. We don't have too much pressure right now because unfortunately the enemy team doesn't have a Neath, so. Aw, Kilgoon's here, yes. Trying to branch out of just Neath. But Neath, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Neath. I'm on my way, it's just taking me a second. I feel very, very slow with him. Like walking wise. I meant to use my one, by the way. You can probably pick up blue if you want, because I have speed. Okay. You should see her stars. I have 14. I love them. I love my stars. I'm proud of my stars. But this is fun. Not going to lie. I'm enjoying Time Doll a lot. Oh, no. Get away from my friend. Got some good damage out. I'm going to back real quick because I'm low. No, no, no. OK. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't have anything to help with that, but you did great hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Run, run, run. Ah. So that's why a good example of why you'd want, like, a safe one that's, like, yeah. right here. Just kind of, like, have that prepared. Okay. No, I missed. Ugh. All right, here we go. Ooh. Columns five. Ah! Yay! Nice knockback. Did you see that? That was a really good knockback. Like, get out of here, dude. You're not worthy. Ah! Ah! Dude, I will get you. I will get you. Remember, Don't Vulcan does have you. ult. You gotta be a little scared. Oh, okay. I'm gonna run just a little bit back. But I also have a relic. You could you could back and teleport behind that Vulcan probably. <gasps> be right back. Be careful. I have an idea. I might have just an baited you into a really bad I idea. <laughs> I may want to return here. Get the CDR and mana. An All right, here we go. Oh, I should have used my one ahead of time. But now I know. That's okay. You can always cast it when you get there. Yeah, I did, but then it was too slow. I'm just gonna farm some of the jungle while you guys clear. Okay. Aw, oh, thank you, Ferdy Birdie. Thanks for being here. That's a Chonga line, by the way. No, I missed my ult! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Nice knockback. Whoa, one more hit. Oh nice. my gosh, yay! Good I didn't job. think it could be done. Ooh, run, 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 run. I'm ready for the Vulcan ult. There it is. Can you juke it? I used my Aegis also works. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm used to Neath, who has lifesteal. I need to, like, build lifesteal or something. Is 
that guy is Great job. A Nicely done. That was you. <laughs> you did I mean, great. damage. I didn't really do anything. It was enough. Because I, I was actually. Enough. It was on my last tick in my fire. It wouldn't have killed me. Um. I feel bad because they don't have their knee. Yeah. This will probably be a relatively quick game. Yeah. It happens. Oh, man. It was... I couldn't... Okay, that was... You know? That was just unfortunate. Okay. Um. Let's switch back to Arcane. Clear the wave. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Where no, we're her. going next. Job not to die. Oh, I didn't time that correctly at all. It's about to, it's about to pop. I know, but I used my one because I thought it was going to be. And the one's gone, right in time for me to. This Vulcan's staying forward, so you, you'll definitely get him. Oh. Yep, he's right here. Knock up a ult. Oh, nice. He's Boom. definitely dead. Yeah. I don't no way he was worry bad. about my one. Howdy. Let's go for soul gem. I want to mess around with that item some more. Soul gem? Yeah, soul gem. What's that? It's uh, every time you hit like an ability, uh, you get a stack and at four stacks, your next ability heals you a bit and also does like extra damage. Which for Merlin, that can stand switch into a whole bunch of different abilities. It's pretty I'm good. I'm probably going to die. No, I got you. Maybe. I might die. Probably going to die. Dude, get away from me. Get away from... Mm. You've been slain. Why didn't he listen? You're a dude. Whew. My damage isn't quite there yet. All right. I do like being able to teleport everywhere. I want to here. Because I walk pretty slow. Spoggers. On my way. Kind of. I mean, Oop. it'll be a minute, but I'm on my way. Poem was trying to chase me. I don't know if that's going to work. The past. I just, like, almost killed myself. Oh, but I have my ult. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I'm going to say this Vulcan lazy backs. And chase. An yep. <laughs> Ooh, Kukulin. Come this way if you can. Double kill. Yay. Look Buggers. at you go. Called the lazy back. It happens. We all do it. Yay. Okay. I'm going for Fire Giant. Wait. <laughs> Did you say what? That might be a bit aggressive. Okay. <laughs> all right. Whatever. I think we could actually probably all do it if we help, but it'll take a little bit more than, than just the Heimdall. <laughs> I don't know. Heimdall, I believe. Big fight happening. <laughs> yeah. No, I really thought that he would die to your fire. My fire does a lot. That was not quite enough. Mostly I need some extra penetration. Get Vulcan. You got him. You got him. Oh, wait, be careful. Oh, you're doing great. Look at you go. Go yeah. on. I got this. Nice. Jeffrey, I'm fragging. I'm running. It's just gonna... We can probably do this. I'm on my way. Oh, wait. I'm far. I was on the other side of the map. So Demon just... King. I may be all seeing my allies. So I'm gonna toss it to you. Oh, no. So I change aggro to you so that you can take some of the damage now. Nicely done. Good stuff. Okay, Yay. literally oh. all of my teammates are trolls. What happened, dude? 
How, how do you feel like dropping the mercy surrender at 10? Aww. That's but Yeah, nice. Kirk. Kirk, you okay if we mercy surrender at 10? Get away from me, dude. Get away. Stop, dude. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No! <laughs> I'm just drooling. Whoop. Got a juke. Put my juke shoes on. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it all day. What a nutcase. The nice thing about taking that is now we don't have to worry about their phoenix because it's disabled for a bit. Wait. Okay, so when I use my three, it'll put a little beacon. How do I know which one it's going to replace? So you can see the symbol above it and the one that you're about to place oh, with the targeter. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep. That was added to help you keep track. Cool. I guess we're not surrendering at 10. We're going to just win at 10. I'm taking... Oh, I'm on my way. Just a second. Oh, he's chasing me. I want to use my ult again. Get out of here, dude. Ooh. Do the combo. Oh, I missed. That's part of the combo. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Nice. G and G. Unfortunately, I don't have the health to really take this for a bit. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm. Dead. I think our Herc should be able to should be able to take this. Oh nope nope. Herc no. No, we're good. Okay, we got minions now. We should be fine. Oh good, I didn't die. I thought I was gonna die. We'll try to go for another one. Yeah, and hopefully they have three this time. That made yeah. me sad. It's unfortunate. Feel sad. It's never fun to have someone leave. Yeah, sad times. But you got some good practice. Yes. Uh, I didn't do as many combos. That I feel like Arena was really good because I didn't have many objectives, you know? Do you want to go for Arena? No. Why would no, how to use back. the three and, and figure out? Like, that's... The Joust is going to really be the uh, test of your your ability to place the three really well. We'll, we'll queue up for again. We'll drop the report and move on. But yeah, so how are you feeling about Heimdall so far? Anything that's confusing? Um, let me think. I think I'm thrown off by the, the autos not being super fast. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Boop. Yeah, there you go. Now we're just sitting and talking. Because <laughs> um, I'm used to, like, like melting people that way. Mm -hmm. So it's just getting used to, it's like, one and two and three. I'm, like, not yeah. used to it. Or can, one and two and then the bigger one. But. You can, because in theory, the DPS is roughly equivalent if you do go into attack speed build. So you can try an attack speed build, build to go for more of that, like, traditional hunter feel. Ooh. The Heimdall doesn't have, obviously, the, like, Izanami stim or the Artemis stim where they hit a button and often they go pew, 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 really fast, right? Yeah. That's like the, the main difference with him is that's the, the kind of like difference in feeling that we were going for with the character. But you can kind of capture that with some attack speed items. Yeah, if you're wanting that build, like Crusher is still really good because it's a lot of attack speed. Executioner is really good just because of the shred and the attack oh, speed Oh, I forgot about Executioner. I used that on me. In early testing, we often use Ikabul a lot because that was like um, a lot of attack speed and base power. And then when you attack someone three times, you get up to 75 power total on the item, okay. which is a lot of power with 30% attack speed. So What item is that? Ikabul. Okay. It's in the bow tree. When would I get that? Uh, probably like fourth. Okay. I'll play the, the tank this time. 
Um, if you're just now tuning in, again, I am learning Heimdall with Pompon. Mm -hmm. um, and you actually designed Heimdall, right? Yep. So that was the the, the kind of like principal designer on 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 Heimdall. The and what that generally means is it's not like I get to make all the sole decision on Heimdall. Like right? we have a whole art department that does a whole bunch of stuff, animation. Right. They do concepting. I have my input there at that stage, but it's not always like that's not like I don't get to determine that direction. And then. Uh, we kind of come up with the idea for the abilities and the idea for the goals of the character. And then through a whole bunch of iteration with all the teams, we come to a final character. That is I'm just so kinda, fun. I'm just kind of the point of, of like contact for that really uh -huh. is, is more kind of what I facilitate. Oh, but that is really fun to like see like an idea come to life all the way. Yeah, like you'll be you'll be play testing uh, like a new character. And then like we often have like temp models in for characters like Heimdall's temp was actually the the Norse chalk. Um, so that one was like, so we were using him as like a base for a while. And then all of a sudden we just had the model come in. And so we had all of a sudden the Heimdall model in and everyone was like, oh my gosh. And, and sometimes the model comes in and it's still like super rough where like it has a, like some weird textures on it. And then other times it comes in, it's like textured and you're like, oh wow. Like, so you get different stages of it depending on what God you're working on. Oh, that is so cool. So it's always fun to see a character go from like the base version with really temp assets and temp abilities to like the final polished product. Um, especially with like the effects on Heimdall, like that kind of like rainbow fire feel. That mm -hmm. was something that the the effects artists that worked on it really, really tried to nail down. And like he, we wanted a way to bring like Bifrost rainbow without looking like just too much rainbow. And mm -hmm. I think this is like it's kind of like prismatic fire. Yes, is really it cool. reminds me of like our um, like infinite skins almost. Yeah, seen yeah it's a really cool effect. I love it. It's like iridescent. All right, starting out with. Attacker's Blessing, working my way into Boots. Let's see, and let's go. And I'm doing Aegis again. Yeah, I guess it's comp, I'll get Aegis, I guess. Oh wait, did that Ravana have like over 10 stars? Cause I didn't see it. It will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm playing Odin. Odin no P.O.P., right? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'll pick this one up. Look at those strats to get the blue fast. Oh, oh. what? No! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You get out of here, Ravana. Uh-uh. Not on my watch. No. He's, he's very oh, dead. <laughs> that was that was some uh, some bravery. <laughs> wow. That was intense, dude. Yeah, that was very brave. And because I had just like gone over there with my three, I like wasn't thinking other people were gonna be coming at me like that at all. Whoop. I'm fine. Maybe you got your health potions. I may be all seen. Gosh, I walk so slowly. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Dude, why is this Ravana like all up in our... He like wants to be a jungler. Ooh, careful. Nice knockback. I'm probably gonna go pretty aggressive here. Do it. Be aggressive. Hyper aggressive. Oh, I got him, but he was like not gonna die to it. Oh, Shibalanke has his ult, so we gotta be a bit careful. I thought that would be like a good play, but now I just have to walk back. <laughs> It's all good. Ooh, red. We can't forget about red. Yep. My guess would be the Robin's on it. Yeah, he is, and he's about to die, but I can't get over there fast enough. Yeah, they already got it. It's all good. Is it? Yeah. 
I don't think a single red makes or breaks the game. One, two. I did my auto three auto. Mm hmm. Aw, I'm glad you like it, Bananimation. Thanks for being here. Ah! <laughs> You're safe. Just be yeah. careful of the raw ult. Oh, right. Get out of here, please. Okay, I have my ult. I'm ready to yeet someone. I decided to go the long way. I thought it would be beneficial for me. Ooh, careful. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, we missed. Oh, wow. Yay, I used my three to get away. Nice. I got to go done? back like all the way. Yeah. Be right back. Probably a safe call. Yeah. Ravana's like everywhere. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Oh. He does have many stars. Probably okay. has a good idea what's going on. Well, he doesn't have 14 on Neath, so. Is that how many you have on Neath? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love her. See, I've played this game for like, since like 2013. And I don't have more than like four stars in a single character because I just can't play a character that long. I told you, I hyper focus. Like I find something I like and I'm like, yes. Like I have a lot of assassins now. with multiple stars, but not one with like 14, even Thanatos. Although maybe if you counted like all the games, because some of them weren't tracked since way back when. Mm. But you also play in playtests and PTS, and those don't get counted. That should be a kill. Nicely done. I stole that. Yeah, oh, it was a bit excessive, but I wasn't going to call it out. <laughs> I just wanted to ah, ensure. Oh, I missed. Oh, but you nice. got it. Nicely done. Teamwork. So when is next red up? Is it already up? Yes. Yes, let's take it. All right. Nice. I say you can grab it. Yay. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know how to help you. Yeah, that's probably a battle. That's more of a, like, you couldn't really help me because I was just in a bad position. No one could really help me out there. I'm sorry. That's not a you mistake. That's a me mistake. <laughs> all right. Ooh, all right, ooh. all right, all right. Ooh, Anubis is alive. Ooh, there's a Robin back here. You might be able to get him. He'll be trying to run. I have speed buff though. Let's go, baby. Oh, I might be able to help you. I got one. Nice. Let's get the minions because we got to get farm. Remember that efficiency thing I was telling you about earlier? Oh, right. Nicely done though. We're doing good. Are we? Yeah. Oh, wait, we're five and one. We are doing yeah, good. Yeah, we're doing really good. <laughs> it might not seem like it because that Robin was kind of bullying us early, but we're doing really good. Yeah, he needs to get You away. have more gold than I do. Well, efficiency. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to pick up speed. No! I was trying to do some killer plays. That's time to do it when you're ahead. A lot harder when you're behind. Yeah. <gasps> we need a neat skin dressed as a cupcake. Don't get me started. I've actually pitched a couple cupcake skin ideas and everyone's like, no. So, like Discordia, win. I'll place this ward here. Oh, that was, that was a big play. Oh, y'all are my friends. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was being no, chased it's just, by. No, <laughs> it was just a rallying cry. <laughs> okay, red should be coming up soon. Dude, 
dude. Don't make me yeet you. Don't make me yeet you. Oh no, uh, what's his name's coming for you? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. It's all good. We can also get red now. Okay. Me? I'll yeah, probably you. Okay. Be right back. Oh, my nose itches. Oh my gosh, so badly actually. Okay. Got it. I was hoping I'd be gonna be able to jump on him, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to. They're coming. Oh, for hi, you. Robin. Coming for you. Yeah, I'm safe. Anubis, less so. Oh no. Yep. There's there's the danger. All of my teammates are cold. Oh, you can ult someone. I can't. Oh no, I got ulted. Yeah, there's nothing on the map for them to really take right now, so it's not like backing right now can be really risky. Although they might try and go for it. That'd be surprising. I don't think they're gonna. I'm gonna call their bluff. Try to surprise me now. Let's pick up some wards. I'm going to get our blue. Yeah. You, if you kill it, I'll pick it up, and then we should probably just go double check that and make sure that like Robin's not trying to to do yeah. it. Yeah. If they're trying to do it, we should stop them. No, I, they're not here. They're lying. Sorry, guys. I will try to read chat a little bit more, but I'm also trying to not die. I keep forgetting to use my two also. Oh, Ravana's coming. Yep. Be careful. If he, like, blinks on you, you can just hold him. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good strat. Okay. To waste my ult. On this next wave, I'm going to leap in aggressively, so... Okay. Just be ready for it. Whew, I'm ready. Oh, wait, he's coming in. Oh, and so are you. Nice knockback. Oh, but I died. No, it's all good. That's two for one. Oh, two. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna go Crusher. Wait, Kilgan, are you talking about for Heimdall? Uh, unfortunately, boop, boop, boop. not quite enough to kill. Uh, red should be up. We can pick that up. No! No! Oop, are you in danger? Yeah, but it's not your... I mean, there's nothing that can be done. It's just me. Did you use your, uh, your three to go back to lane really fast? Yeah. You didn't have it to escape? No. <laughs> it's a good lesson to learn. <laughs> That's that's like what I see a lot of Heimdalls do. Is they're like, oh man, I just want to teleport back to lane, and then you just immediately die and go, well. Nothing. I I, I had no escape. And now I have oh no. Yes, yes, I am cupcake. All right, cool. So you're telling me to go for ah. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to move my three, so that I'm not tempted to do that anymore. But maybe I'll try to get. Was it Heartseeker that you said? I'm surprised. I don't know where they went. Um. Hmm. Oh, they ran far away. They like left, left. Oh, I didn't realize that they had our tower. Darn. Yep. I know this is really yep. off topic, but Here, are you like? Sublanke. Uh. Looks like he ran. No, he's I, back. Oh, oh, you're going for it. No, I'm not going for it. It looked like I was going for it, but I wasn't. But I had my yeet. We can probably fight. Whoa. Yeet! All right, sweet. You've been slain. I got a kill, so. Wait, did I get that kill? 
Okay, I'm not actually doing that bad. Nope. Alright, I'm going whoop, whoop, ASI. Whoop. Everyone's telling me to do that after Crusher. Come on, Robin, let's fight. Let's go. He's scared. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Did some damage to him, but I don't quite have what I've got, which is the kill potential. Nice. Boom. So that time it was good for me to go through the pool yeah. from base. And now I get to go back to base and spend 3.5k gold. <laughs> have fun. A little shopping spree. Red's back. It just came back. I think I'm going to get an Ansile just to disrupt this raw. Just for funsies. Oh, and I can also upgrade my relic. You should upgrade your relic. Oh, you right. Can. You're level 11, so you have, a, you have a little bit of time. Oh, I do, I do, yeah. I also got blink, so I can blink ult. So if you just want to follow up, if I ever like do that, it's probably like the play. Okay. Oh no, did you just do it? Whoa, one, one hit. Nice. Oh, you gave that to me. No, I actually couldn't stand there and get it, so. Ooh. Robin might have blink. You have your ult. So if he blinks on you, just ult. Uh, that's a lot of pressure. Just, just, I'm calling it now, so be prepared for it. Because of the likely outcome. Yeah, I'm backing up a little so he can get away from me. For some reason, I feel very... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! See, there it is. I did not realize Anubis was going to ult. Also, my bad, dude. No, Ooh. it's fine. It's that not out. fine. It's not. No. I'm sure he's mad. I would be mad. I'm dead, also. Uh, we can probably start thinking about a fire giant soon. Or not fire giant, demon king. Be right back. I gotta be right back. That's fine. It's probably a good time to get your relic anyway. Uh, what should I get? Uh, beads, I guess, is generally like the go to, especially if you're unsure. But why beads? Uh, why so like Robin, for example, can root you and you might need to be able to get out of okay. that. Um,. I hate him, so okay. Convinced. In this in this game, like it's probably not the most important thing, but that's like the kind of like if you if you're not sure what you're doing or what you might need, that's like a pretty good default. I think someone might be over here. It's Ravana, he's at his tower. Oh, over there? Yeah. Let's start let's start oh, fighting. Wait. Shit. Oh, excuse me. Wow. You just did that in my PG stream. <laughs> How dare you? How dare I? Well, because I I forgot that I had changed my relic and I was about to use a ward, so I used my beads just while standing in the middle of the lane for no reason. Uh, if you want to go pick up bread, that's available. And okay, I have cool. Blinkle available, so we can, like, fight. Ooh, I'm getting really warm. A little toasty. I actually have a fan blowing me right now, so it's, like, kind of okay. You do? Yeah. How'd you get a fan? Oh, I guess I do too, but it's not blowing on me. Ooh. Nice. So now follow up on this. Follow up on this. I couldn't. I couldn't secure. I'm sorry. It's all good. You did the combo. You did the knockup right afterwards. I think your one connected too. He just survived. No, I didn't use one. Uh, I tried to use my two, and I did it too early. But let's but... do this. Oh wait, we're getting tower. Go for fire yeah. giant. Um. Nice. I'm gonna back and buy real quick. Okay. Oops, there's sure, Robin. Too. Oh sh! Ding. Oh no. Oh no. Get away from me. Uh. Uh. I'm actually okay. I'm still. I have a positive spread. You're doing great. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, you're doing great. Just keep. Oh, yes! 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 Nice! Amazing. Wow. What a Amazing. play. Amazing. I could be watching anime right now. That was so good. We both were like, you were rock, so you greedy. rock, you rock, you rock, you rock, you rock. I mean, that was such a good, like, they, like, all funneled in the area. Anubis did the thing. Yeah. Anubis does what Anubis does. That was great. Let's use my new attack speed stim to attack this tower fast. I used my three to get all the way down the lane fast. Good. You're going to be here in time to help me take this before they respawn. Now all I have to do is close this game out. Where are you going? Oh, okay. I'm going to go get them. red, I guess. Yeah, that's a good call. Did y'all see that, though? Anubis coming in clutch with the trips. Yeah, I saw Anubis behind me. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to get out of there. And I just saw everyone I, I die. I didn't think he was going to make it. And now I feel bad for not believing in him. Oop. Anubis is being chased. Are they about to get revenge? Oh, man. I tried to do the knockback to get him to win, but... Look at you go. You're doing great. Go Pompon. Ah, uh, no. Yay. Look at you. Go Pompon. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I can win this fight. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at you. Yes. Come on, Robin. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get thirsty. I'm going to come in. I'm coming in hot. Oh, wait, it's going to take a long time. Ah, uh, they're not going to fight me. I could have won that, too. That's why. I'm just going to stand here waiting for... It takes a long time for this to shatter. It looks like it's going to shatter for a long time. What? You'll get used to, like, how much, like, it has to vibrate before it really is about to, like... See, now, it's, now it's really going. Okay, well, that... You also have your passive meter. It has the timer on it. Three, what? two, one now oh my gosh i didn't even see those numbers oh oh they're farming nicely done i think this might be this might be a win it is it's definitely a win it was not my best time to all game but we're still gonna win Nicely done. And we got this attack speed boost that we can use. Close it out. Cool. So it's almost it's almost time to go. Is it? Yeah. Oh wow. Dude, time, time flies, flies when you yeet. You want a 1v1? No! <laughs> with time doll? Yeah. So so it feels like there's there's two ways to close this out. Either Q and E with chat. Or 1v1, the time. All right, y'all get to choose. 1v1s or Q&A. Uh, I'm going to drink some water. Yeah, it's very warm in here. It's getting hot. <laughs> but this has been really fun. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like I could actually play Heimdall and be okay. Thank you for all of your help. Yeah. You've been doing good. You've been learning the combos. You're getting more comfortable with things. You're doing the, the traditional Heimdall thing of, of going way too far with the three and realizing, oh, maybe I just don't do that <laughs> by default. So everybody, every single person so far has said Q and A. Q and A, let's go. I'm just kidding. Every single person said one v one. Let's go. I'll make the uh, the custom. Okay. Uh, but you have to build bad items. People said. Sure. I'll build bad Heimdall items. I'll start level three. Create match. You want to be Canyon. order or chaos? It doesn't matter to me. Um, Canyon, that is very interesting that you say that because I feel like Joust matches are actually a little bit longer now. I feel like now you have to... Before, Joust matches were... You are safe now. I feel like I 15, 20 was starting to be like a little longer, but now I feel like it's like... 20... Not quite 25, but like 20 to 27 or so. I've had like half hour Joust games since the new map, and I'm like, oh, I didn't get enough time for this. So what view do we want to give them? 
What, what? What view do we want to give them? Oh, we'll give them. Let's see. What's, what's bad items mean? It means no items. Oh wait, no, I got, I got the play. <laughs> a watcher must always have proper supplies. I have the play. Oh, hey, Zycorion, or, you know, you. Um, if you go to your settings and toggle your um, visual settings, it should, and then relaunch Smite, it should be fixed from there. Sorry about that. This is rough alone. It is. But don't screen cheat. You can't look at the middle I'm one. Not, I'm not looking at the middle one. I used to play Goldeneye on the N64 with my brother, and he used to screen cheat. And oh, yeah. I mean, everyone Oh, my God. I hate myself. What'd my you do? Fat, stupid fingers. Nothing happened, okay? It's fine. <laughs> I got one minion. Ooh, people are saying that you're screen peeking. I'm not screen peeking. Are you? <laughs> I'm doing stylish plays. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm doing plays that'll win. <laughs> so, so here's a situation where like that kind of canceling comes into play, right? So like, see uh... this clear. See, I'm always doing the cleave attack. Oh my gosh, we're so close! Oh no, but now you got more minions than me. Yep. Don't yep. Don't yep. No! <gasps> oh, oh, oh! No! <laughs> we both had the same idea. I was reading chat. Uh, all right. That'll be gentlemen's rules. I win. Yep. <laughs> all righty. Well, we've got about five minutes to... I don't want to surrender because... I won. Oh, we still gotta go. No, we have to go, go. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was one part I didn't mention before, but that has uh -huh. knockback immunity. So if you're the if you're the one to do it later, you actually kind of win that trade. Oh. Okay, that's cool. No, 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 no. Oh no, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. The panic. There's no panic. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I'm doing the wrong thing. I think I might be able to get this red. The first, I did go the Toxic Blade, which I think is people would consider bad enough as like a first item. Wait, what? I went Toxic Blade. Oh. Why, because you're toxic? Wow. <laughs> that joke wrote itself. It wasn't even aimed at you. If I get him boots. So, while we finish this up. I just want to let y'all know what's going on next. So mm -hmm. we've got different shows happening throughout the day. Um, today we have the update show at three, but before that we're going to have the art show, the fan art show, the art show. No, no. Oh, darn it. I didn't use my beads in time. Get away from me. No. You're not going to hold me back? No. Yes. No. Stop it. That was definitely a bait. Uh, anyways, so we've got the fan art show happening afterwards. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, Enna will be on it. And I believe... Oh, no. Sprout will be on it, too, I believe. 
Uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and talk. Oh no, it went right in between them. How dumb. Yeah, it's difficult to do. I do have an eye for quality. What is? Talking and like focusing. Oh, yes. So make sure you stay yeah. tuned for the fan art show and for the update show where we show off None one of, or not one run. of, the absolute newest. I see. No, 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 no. He's getting better and better. So there I canceled, which cool. is, is useful. Yeah, it was cool. Hey, you got first blood on me. I can't take that away. That's true. Yeah. That is my badge of honor. <gasps> Ooh, what? cupcakes. What is this for? <laughs> it's the cupcake stream. Yay. Ooh, thank you. Look how cute this is. This is really nice. Thank you. Yay, thank you. Oh, yay. oh minis are attacking me. Oh, no. Mmm, it's good. Mm -hmm. I love your sprinkles. They're like the the bitey ones. Anyway. Um, that was so nice. Yeah. Sprout came in, gave us some cupcakes. <laughs> Yay. Oh hey Anna. Ooh, Anna wants one. You're gonna have to talk to Sprout about it. Oh, Alright, you know what? If you won't surrender, I will. Ah, oh, I was about to just hit you! <laughs> That's what you get. Damn. Unfortunate. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, that's about it for us. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today mm -hmm. while we learned a little bit more about Heimdall. Thank you so much for teaching me Heimdall. Mm -hmm. I feel a lot better about it. I think I can counter him now that I know some of the, yeah. the strats, the plays. Yep. If, he, if you ever see him trying to do the wombo combo, make sure you have beads to avoid it. And mm -hmm. then if you're getting comfortable with him, just kind of practice and juggle practice a bit and you'll be good to go. Yes, you did a great time or a great job designing him. He's fun. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Well, this was the first edition of Let's Learn Smite. I hope you guys had a great time. And until next time, y'all, stay sweet.